Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Give the Grey here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon episode number three. Ha! Huh, we did it. I'm finally here. I finally made it. I couldn't have done it without you, Gibbs. I really owe you one. Thanks, Epic. Now I gotta hurry. I'm pretty sure the letter said it was this way. What letter? Is it a love letter? Oh, hey there. Let's just turn up the volume here a bit so you guys can hear what's going on and what have you. I mean, pretty much all it's just wind blowing through the desert. It's desolate land and what have you. <laughs> desolate land, grounded ability confirmed. <laughs> Thank goodness you're still here. Phew. Hmm, I'm quite excited. Hmm, I'm the one who, hmm, manages the land around here. Is it you then? Hmm, you're, hmm, Tepic. Yep, that's me. Mm hmm, I thought so. Thanks for coming so far, hmm? It seems that waiting here was, hmm, worth it after all. I've just been standing around here by myself, hmm? But it was so boring that I was, hmm, thinking of heading home soon. But now that you're here... Hmm, are you really sure about this? It's really, hmm, desolate. And there's nothing here. And worst of all, the mystery dungeons are really taking over in this area, hmm? You can't count on anything going as, as, as expected in this kind of place, hmm? I know, that's exactly what I'm hoping for in fact. I brought the poke with me. Hmm, you sure you won't regret this? Then here you go, your hmm, deed. Alright, so Katepic bought the land from Quagsire. This land, this land now belongs to you, hmm? You can, hmm, do whatever you like with it. And Quagsire just warns off. I'll tell you, in that introduction in episode 1, Quagsire running was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, alright! From this day forth, this is gonna be my pirate ass! Ah. Sorry for getting all worked up by myself. You remember how I said I want to learn all kinds of things and see all kinds of things? To be an adventurer, right? This right here is the st starting point for making all that come true. My dream. My dream is to make a paradise for us all. A Pokemon paradise. A Pokemon paradise? Yeah. I'm gonna make this the kind of paradise you can only dream about. This mystery dun the mystery dungeons are spreading around here. You never know what might happen online like this. There are a lot of Pokemon who ain't that unkind of uncertain unkind of the uh, uh, kind of uncertainty. But to me, it just means an exciting adventure could sprout up at any time. I'm gonna have all kinds of adventures and find lots of other Pokemon like me. And then when we work hard together, we'll be able to live the kind of life that really makes you feel alive. A real paradise. That's my dream. I've been saving up all my poke just for that, and now I've found the perfect land. Well really, it's more like everywhere else was just too expensive, so I didn't really have much of a choice. But, this is going to be the start of all my dreams. Wow, so Tebe has those kind of big dreams, huh? Sure it's nice to have a dream. I, I have none. I just sit here making videos. Just hearing him talk about it enough is to make me excited too. So Gibbs, what are you going to do now? Do you have somewhere to go? Hmm. Listen, if you don't have anywhere to go, why not consider helping me out? How about you help me make my paradise, Gabe? What? There's no way I can do it all by myself, so I've been planning to get more Pokemon to join me over time anyway. What do you think, Gibbs? Will you help me out? Hmm. What should I do? What should I do, guys? Should I help him out or say no? I'm still kind of worried about that cry for help that I heard earlier, but it's not like I have any more clues to about what it meant now, and I don't have anywhere else to go. So then, maybe I really should just stay with Tevik for the time being. If I'm lucky, maybe along the way, I'll figure out what it is I should do. Alright. Really? You, re you're really going to help me out? Yes! Thanks. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, I know, I know my friend's going to be so... He's going to laugh about that. Yes! We're gonna be great. We're gonna be great friends. We'll be a great. I have to give someone that voice. So, Gibbs, now that we're officially friends and all, if you want to give me a nickname, well, that'd be okay. What do you think? You got something? Oh, I got just a thing. I got just a thing for you, my friend. Because you just fit the part so perfectly. Bacon. Is your partner's name Bacon? Yes. Bacon. All right, the bacon it is. You're gonna be so delicious for the day, I swear for God, you're gonna taste so good. Call me bacon from now on. That's it, I'm gonna have everyone else call me that from now on too. 
Yeah, everyone realize how delicious you are, and then we're gonna munch on you. I'm definitely gonna make my dreams come true. Just you watch. Sheesh, when bacon acts that happy, it means that he's sweating, and fatty, fatty bacon is really nice. But I, got, I can't have too much fat, if you know what I mean. I can't help feeling like I made the right choice. But still, I can't believe I got turned into an actual Pokemon. It all started when I heard that voice in my dream. And the next thing I noticed, my body had been transformed. That's right. We saw that Pokemon being chased by the High Dragon. I wonder if that poor Pokemon is alright. How can I forget her? I've got to help her somehow. But how? Hmm. All I have now are questions without answers. I don't even know for sure if I can come to this world to save that Pokemon. And besides... Staying here with Bacon. That sure... That sure li is lit the dream. That sure seems it'll lead to a lot of adventures. I feel like something great is waiting in store for me. Gibbs, let's do our best together. I know there's nothing here now, but... This is it. This is a place. This is going to be our paradise. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that, you guys. That is so awesome. See, if I could have that as a thumbnail, I would. But I couldn't find any images, which is why I have the images in now. But that looks so nice. I wish I captured that in HD and just use that as my thumbnail, because I'll, I'll be happy to use that as my thumbnail. Discover Magna Gate has been unlocked. That's nice. Pretty sure that's not the main thing, but you know what? We'll carry on. I'm not going to say, we're going to carry on. So it's night time. Hmm. Wow. Nice shoulders come round fast around here, huh? There's nothing here at all here. I mean, of course there's not, but, well, I guess we'll just have to camp out for the night. You do that, Tepig. I mean, we'll just get some stacks of fame and we'll all be good. <sighs> it's pretty cold, huh? I guess the first thing we need to do is build a house. That's true. If we if it started raining now, we'd be in a real mess. I'd like to be able to keep out in the, in, out in... <sighs> I'd like to be able to keep out the... Rain and wind, at least. Let's think about building a house tomorrow, yeah? Sleep tight, Gibbs. So that's it. That's our first official day that we spent together. Feels so good spending the, spending the night with bacon. Hmm, morning. I came to see how you two were surviving, hmm? Did you sleep well last night, hmm? Morning, Quagsire. And no, not really. It was a little chilly. Turns out it's pretty tough to stay out here in the wind when you got no walls. So we're thinking that we'd really like to build a house, but we don't really know where to start. Hmm, well if it's a house you're after, I think there should be a carpenter or three somewhere in Post Town, hmm? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. If you ask them, they should be able to build you a house, hmm? Post Town is just a, hmm, quick walk from here. Want to check it out, hmm? Yeah. Let's go, Gibbs. Let's find a carpenter to build us a house. Okay, let's do that. This way, hmm? It shows sure annoyingly empty. I mean, professionally empty around here, hmm? Sure, Quack Saga. This way, hmm? A lot of traveling Pokemon all come along this highway here, hmm? And so Post Town was built as a, hmm, nice express stop for all those Pokemon. Post Town is just this way, hmm? Let's go check it out, hmm? Here we are, hmm? Hmm, this is Post Town. Looks nice, really nice place in fact. You got Chinchino, you got Rampados, you got Ducklet, you got Kecleon. You got all these Pokemon here that like to set up shop. Well, wow, I'd have expected to be quieter somehow, but it's surprisingly lively around here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This town is quite famous for having the best water. So visiting Pokemon all drink fit. So visiting Pokemon all drink their f their fill and wash away their fatigue, hmm? I suppose that's why everyone's heads together here, hmm? There are a lot of, hmm, shops and things too. 
That strange box over there is a deposit box, hmm? You can deposit your items in Poké there and then, hmm, take them out later. And then there's a general store. You can buy all kinds of items there, hmm? There's also the inn and this restaurant, hmm, and all kinds of places. You should feel free to use any of the shops you like, hmm? What are you doing? You just hit me on purpose, didn't you? That hurt you, Ulf. All I did was push you with my beak. What's the big deal? Don't go throwing into a fear about all of every little bump. Hmm. Hmm. My name's Duckley. Well, they seem a bit touchy. None of the other Pokemon even tried to step in. Everyone's a bit on edge these days. Hmm. It seems the strife between Pokemon just hmm, keeps growing worse. From what I mm, hear, seems that everyone's nerves are a bit strained. Some Pokemon even think it's because of the spread of the mystery dungeons, hmm? Hmm, but who can really say for sure? You're right. Relationships between Pokemon are definitely sour these days. More and more Pokemon are only looking out for themselves. Did you see how no one even tried to stop that fight just now? I, I just said that, Bacon. I just said that. I just... There's no trust between Pokemon anymore. I wish everyone would be friendlier, but... The world does seem a bit dark these days, hmm? Although I wish it weren't. Well, never mind all that, hmm. You two needed, hmm, a carpenter, right? I'll go have a look around, hmm. While I do that, you two can, hmm, check out the town. Alright, thanks, Quagsire. So, we got advice bullets in here. Whenever you're in Post Town or in Paradise, you'll be able to save a record of your adventure from the X menu. When you want to do that, just open the menu and save. Well, that seems pretty simple, you guys, but... I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, because in the next episode we can go ahead and advance the story, and I think the next episode is going to be quite a lengthy one, I don't know, but we'll go ahead and explore the post town here, but if you guys have enjoyed this episode and all of its dialogue, make sure you go ahead and smash the hell out of that button first, make sure you all subscribe to Ultra Tech for all ages Ultra Tech content, look in the description for my Twitter, for my Twitter link. Uh, so you can you guys can follow me up on Twitter and also look at my fr look at my friend code so you can battle with me and train with some time on Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But thank you guys so much for watching episode number three of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Games to Infinity playthrough. And I shall see you guys in episode number four. You guys are amazing. I've been giving the great. This is me signing off.